In this video, we're going to talk about business insurance and what goes into selecting policies and what you might need as a business. First of all, why do you need insurance for a business? When you have your own business, you're going to take on some degree of risk, whether it's selling to customers, having customers in your premises, uh, maybe even protecting the value of assets that you purchase for the company. Insurance helps you cover losses when something goes wrong. If there's a fire, if there's theft, if there's damage, if you get sued, um, with the right type of business insurance, you can operate your business with comfort knowing that the role you have as a business owner has less risk. And the cost of that policy is going to be based on a few things. First of all, what are the value of the assets you're insuring? Do you have inventory? Do you have equipment? How many employees do you have? What type of risks are there in your industry? Are you in a high risk type business with a lot of uh, potential for damage or losses? And then also, what is your risk tolerance? You may want to have a higher deductible or more co-insurance to reduce your premium and have you cover some of the loss if that happens. How should you include that in your budget? You should have a certain amount based into your business profit and loss, your pro forma, your budget to cover the cost of an insurance premium. Um, what are the types of policies that you should have? Well, fortunately for a new business, there's a policy known as a business owner's policy or BOP. This includes coverage specifically designed for a small business. Things like property damage. If your premises are damaged, uh, let's say if you rent a space or own a space, if there's glass breakage, if there's water leaks, um, equipment, furnishings, displays, if you know a car crashes through your front door, if a customer tips over a stand, that is covered. It also covers something that's very important called business interruption or BI. If a loss that's covered affects your ability to continue to operate, you may have to go without revenue or income for some period of time. And that revenue stream has coverage from that lost income. Um, you can also have optional coverage for third parties, meaning that if one of your suppliers has to shut down and that affects your uh, business income, that can be covered as well. You may also want to get liability. If there's a judgment or a legal defense of a lawsuit because somebody gets hurt or claims to be hurt, that's coverage. In some cases, you may be required to have insurance for certain licenses or even your lease might require you to have insurance. There's a few other types of coverages that you may want to consider. One is professional liability insurance, meaning that if you make a mistake or you do something wrong in your business and it causes harm to somebody or damage to a customer, that can be covered by professional liability. Sometimes it's called E&O insurance for some professions, errors and emissions insurance. You may need to get commercial auto. If you have any vehicles that are used for business purposes, even if it's your own personal car or an employee's car, um, you want to have a commercial auto policy. And of course, when you have employees, you may need things like health insurance or workers' comp insurance. Beyond that, there's a couple other things that are more common that are often overlooked in the modern era. One is cyber liability insurance. If you have an internet business or anything that involves using technology in your business, cyber liability can protect you against data losses. Uh, we have a client that we work with that had a loss that would have been a big deal to take care of. Their entire accounts receivable record was deleted accidentally. And because of that, they were not able to collect all of their receivables. Because of the fact they had proper cyber liability insurance, those things were covered. Now be aware too, that all these coverages vary from policy to policy. So none of these are gonna be certain. You wanna make sure you know what's in your policy and you work with a good agent to do that. There's also a policy called commercial umbrella, meaning that if you have certain policies, a business owner's policy, commercial auto, you have an umbrella policy over that, that provides excess coverage um, for losses that might exceed that. Keep in mind as your business grows and you need more coverage, you might 
not be able to get good coverage from the standard business owner's policy. Then you can look at what's called a CPP, a commercial package policy. And this can include things like liability insurance, property, auto, crime policy, theft, um, and different things that might be per, uh, particular to your business. And most insurers have CPPs for particular industries. Uh, usually that's going to exclude workers' compensation because that's going to be separate and group life and health will be different from that too. The CPP though is customizable, meaning that you can adjust it for your business where a business owner's policy is pretty much uh, like off the rack type suit. The way it works is the insurance company will write a commercial package policy for a small or mid-sized business and they'll have different packages for different industries. For example, dry cleaners or car dealerships or other industries. They already know what the, the risks are so they'll have those pre-written. They allow for customization within an industry based on how many employees you have, how big you are, and it'll also have different policy and liability coverages. Be aware when you're looking at your policy of things called exceptions, exclusions, and endorsements. You want to know what's excluded from coverage on your policy, but you may be able to replace those with endorsements. You may be able to endorse them back. An endorsement is additional coverage. There's also something to be aware of in your business called inland marine insurance. And you might think that I don't do anything marine, I don't do anything with boats, but inland marine is coverage which takes care of risk or losses from transportation of items in transit. So you may have inventory, you may have products, you may have shipping, and it covers ground transportation for items that are not in your uh, possession, but have not yet been delivered to a client or on the way to you from a supplier that you've already paid for. There's a lot of really good coverage that's available to small and medium businesses. And most times the coverage is relatively inexpensive. It's a reasonable cost for most businesses. If you are in a high risk business where you use toxic materials or dangerous goods, or you're in a high risk company like you know window washers on the 100th floor, you may have some excess cost for your policy. But most businesses can put together a very good coverage um, fabric of a set of policies or one policy that covers the risks that are important to them, keeping in mind that one of the biggest factors in preventing risk is your own policies, your own procedures in your company. So if you're preventing risk to begin with, you're going to be at a lower chance of ever having to use a policy, which is a good thing, because every time you use it, you're still gonna have costs. You'll have out-of-pocket costs, you'll have deductibles, and you'll have the risk that your premiums are gonna go up in the future. Work with your agent, get a good description of what's available for your business, and be aware that any business can get good coverage to keep you from losing it all if something really bad happens.